All right, here's a going to be a short video. Basically, customer has a a D10 stuck on a mountain somewhere and they need to use this D8 as an anchor point and they want in the center of the blade they want a heavy duty eyelet so that they can mount a large shackle to it so I had this two inch plate I drilled a hole in it I was going to bore it out and make it all perfect but then I realized a shackle is going into it for a one time use and then it's going to get left on there and they're going to destroy it when they start pushing material with it so it didn't need to be that perfect so I'm going to cut this out with my plasma to make it about two and a half inches because we need to have a minimum of two and a quarter for the shackle to fit through there so I'm going to get the blade cleaned off, get this cut, do some uphill, do uphill dual shield welding. Not too bad for a machine that's not ready to cut two inch. Tacked on there, make sure she's straight. Weld her out. I already got it marked out where I want it. Okay, so I tacked this piece up there and it had a little bit of a gap. I know there's a you know a radius on the blade. I didn't think it would be as bad, but I decided to cut a little bit of a radius on that.
All right, got her all done. I think that looks pretty good. Got tons of weld in there. I think that should work perfect for the application. When I was originally asked about this, I said, well, how does the skin look on there? And he's like, oh, well, if the skin's wore out, then just, you know, cut, cut the skin out and weld it in there. Well, there is no skin on this. <laughs> So that actually might be a uh, future video. Um, and you got a 85,000 pound machine that's gonna be the anchor for a 180,000 pound machine. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.